Hello and welcome back or welcome to the channel. I'm Loudguns and in today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at the ships available to fly in the week long free fly that's just gone live. If you don't have an SC pack now is a great time to give it a go because free flies as the name suggests are just a way to try out the game just as long as you've got an account. So all you need to do is to create one of those and enter the free fly code and you'll be good to go. When you do sign up for an account though be sure to use a referral code for some extra starter cash and at the time of recording, a free consolidated Outland hover quad for you and the person who refers you. My code's the one up on the screen right now, but really just use anyone's. I'm going to hit play on the intro, but after that we're going to be taking a look at the ships. Just in case you're wondering where you sign up for the free fly, I'll include a link to the exact page on the Robert Space Industry website. Uh, that will be just down in the video description. Then here, if you just scroll down, you'll be able to click on the uh, the link to copy the free fly code to your clipboard and enter it there and apply coupon. So you'll need an account to be signed in at this point. And if you're new to the game, you can then under step three, just download the game. And uh, while it's downloading, you can check out the ships we go fly. Up first we have the Anvil Pisces, and this little ship might not look like much, but there's a reason so many people love it. It's one of the best advanced starter ships in the game. It's a great little shuttlecraft with seats for two extra friends, so that can be particularly fun if you're looking for something to run bunkers or box missions in with you and a couple of mates. I really personally like that with this year's top 8 free fly, you're going to get a chance to try not one, but two of the advanced starters. Like the Pisces, the Avenger Titan is that small step up from the Aurora and the Mustang game packs. The Titan has a neat bit of cargo space in the back as well as living quarters that the Pisces lacks, so if you're looking for something with a bed that you can log out in in between sessions, then this could be for you. The firepower is also a bit more impressive with two size 3s and a size 4 hardpoint on the nose, but you lose some of that spare seating for your friends. If you are interested in doing a bit of cargo hauling though, the Argo Raft is a great way to get into that space trucker life. 96SU is a really good spot to start, with not too much investment required to fill your cargo hold, but not so little that the loot becomes pointless. The Raft is one of my personal favourites in terms of looks, not because it's shiny and flashy, but because it feels like a real working local hauler. Extra points as well for how well it matches my favourite armour. The RSI Scorpius is Starset's very own X-Wing, so if you spent anywhere near the hours I did playing Rogue Squadron on the N64, be sure to check this one out. And this will probably be one of the one that catches the eyes of existing players as well as those who are joining new for the free fly. Generally speaking, ships in SC release first for one patch to those backers who have pledged cash for them, and then they enter the in-game shops for credits in the following major release. So since the Scorpius only came out in 317, this is one that you can't currently buy in-game. The Scorpius can be flown solo, but considering the ship's firepower is equally divided between the four size 3 guns on the wings, which are controlled by the pilot, and the four more on the turret, controlled by a gunner, this is a perfect ship to take out with a mate for a spot of bounty hunting. The Mercury from Crusader has a very loyal following in the SC community, and I think it's highly likely that this one makes it to the final four of the best in show competition. So while the MSR's main gameplay loop, the data running, isn't actually in-game yet, for a lot of people this ship is their preferred daily driver just for getting from point A to point B across the system. There are two turrets though, so if you've got a couple of mates you can actually output a respectable amount of firepower in this ship, and you can always have a game of chess with the working chess set, just for anybody who says there's no gameplay to the MSR. Then again, if it's combat that you're really interested in, if you've got those couple of friends, then look no further than the Aegis Redeemer. The pilot controls two size 4 guns and two size 3s, but the main firepower is really located in the two-man turrets. Each of these sports a pair of size 5 ballistic Gatlings. 
The ship's also really tanky with a couple of really decent shields, so if you're looking to get into bounty hunting but you maybe don't have too much experience, the ship can be quite forgiving. Also if you've got a fourth friend who doesn't mind watching your backs then there is another dual size 3 turret on the rear of the ship. If you're here for the pretty sights rather than the pew pews, and if you're looking for an ultimate touring experience then the Origin 600i might well be the cockpit you want to head to. Just before somebody heckles me from the comments though, it is worth noting that with three size 5 guns under pilot control, the 600i can actually handle a reasonable bit of PvE bounty hunting. It's a bit of a lumbering beast, so you're likely to get shredded in PvP world, but you could always take out the AI criminals in comfort. At this point we're getting into the realm of Starset's bigger ships, so it provides a great example of the scale SC is going for. And if only this could be my real life bedroom, I know I for one would be happy. But I think I saved the best for last. The Anvil Carrick was probably the ship that sealed the deal for me when it came to Starset. We've had the clearly Star Wars inspired in this list already, but the exploration focused Carrick screams Star Trek to me. When I first looked at the project, like many people, it was really the idea of exploring a brand new galaxy that excited me. The advert for the Connie Aquila was one of the reasons I grabbed a game pack back in 2014, but it was walking around the Carrick at the 2019 IAE that tipped the scale and made Star Citizen my most played game. The ship's fully equipped for an expedition with your mates, there are multiple bridge positions and turret stations, a garage big enough to take a good few ground cars and hover bikes, and a hangar perfectly proportioned for the Pisces. There's also a med bay to make sure you can respawn far from a station. And please don't be put off by how many of these ships are best suited to multiple people. One of the best things about SC I think is the way in which the multi-crew ships get people to rely on each other and reach out to one another in game, but that you don't find in other games so much. If you put a shout out in general chat, before you know it you'll probably be off on an adventure with some new mates. But you can also feel free to drop into our Discord via the link in the video description down below and we can get you set up with a crew during the week. If you enjoyed the video and you think I've earned it, consider dropping a like and hitting subscribe to the channel for all things Star Citizen. And be sure to check out some of my other vids like the New Player's Guide series if you need some help getting going in the verse. And with all that said, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you next time.